Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Adam Weiser with the Fluke Corporation and I'm here again at Test Equipment Depot. Today we're talking about the Fluke II910 and I'll show you some of the new features right now. So the first thing I wanted to show was, was some of the updates to Leak Q mode. Right now we have five different capture modes on the II910. Image, which just takes a picture, video, obviously we're going to shoot video, and then some of, the, um, some of the quantification modes that we've more recently added. Now, in, in previous iterations, you had to download the image either to our energy loss calculator or to the Fluke Connect desktop in order to create a report. What we've done with some of, the, some of the more recent firmware updates is the ability to do it on the camera itself. So you'll notice what I've got is I've got a signal generator going on my, uh, on my mobile phone. It's putting out a signal at right about 15 kilohertz. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna aim at the leak. I'm gonna put it in this circle in the middle and I'm gonna hit the capture button. And then once it captures the leak, it's giving me a leak Q scale of 1.2. It's a number that we assign uh, as a severity to the leak itself. It's giving me a distance to target of three feet and a CFM score and an estimate of about 200 bucks a year. So if that was an actual leak, uh, that quote unquote leak would be costing us about 200 bucks a year. So that's something that we can do right on the camera now that we previously weren't able to do. Before we save it, uh, we can either go right into save, in which case we would just save it to the memory. Um, some of the other things that we can do though is we could say, I wanna capture notes. So I can actually pop up the touchscreen keyboard and I could put in a note, anything that helps me identify where I am. Uh, photo notes is another feature. This actually will turn on the digital camera. The photo note is nice because I could take, the, I could take a, a, a picture of a nameplate or any kind of an identification number specifically that identifies that specific asset. You know, in this case, I could just you know, shoot that. So that, gets, that photo note gets captured along with the data that I took. Tags. Gives us a ton of a ton of different information. I can actually get really really specific into the asset. I can actually put in the asset name. I can use asset ID. I can either type in an asset ID with my keyboard, or you could use um, a QR code. And then you can scroll down here with some of the other options, and you can actually categorize the asset. Is it a steam trap? Is it a compressor? Is it a pump? Um, inspection status. We can do as found and as left, and then any kind of action required, yes or no, and then we can put a priority on it too. Is this a low or is this a high priority? So all these things can be, um, can be input in the field before you even get back to your desk. So that is just a real quick overview of some of the new features of the leak queue mode. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the MEC queue mode. What you'll see is once you're in MECQ mode, you've got a few different options. I can then go into acoustics, and if I scroll down to the bottom, there are three different, three different settings or ranges for MECQ. The first one is a fixed 30 kilohertz range. The second option is a user selected, anything from two up to 100 kilohertz, and I can actually use these, the slider on the side to adjust that up and down. The third one is a fixed multi-mode. So this is actually gonna give us fixed ranges or fixed uh, frequency ranges at 20, 30, and 40 kilohertz. I happen to have my signal generator set up at 20 kilohertz. So you'll see I can get at each frequency range, I get a decibel scale. And at the 20 kilohertz range that I have it set at, I'm picking up 20 decibels and we're at a distance of roughly three and a half, four feet. So what I can do is I can hit capture and then I can go into some of the post capture menus that we had talked about previously. So if I go in here to capture notes, I can type in any additional information that I want. I can click on photo notes, I can go in here and turn on the camera again. This I could take a picture of uh, any kind of a nameplate that's on the particular asset. I can go back into tags. Now under the tag options, I've got up here on the top, I've got general, I've got leaks, I've got electrical, and I've got mechanical. So mechanical on the far right hand side pops up a couple of different options. So I can actually plug in what type of component 
that this was, what type of bearing was it. I can plug in the speed, and then I can also put in a severity scale. Is this a high or a low priority uh, fix? So I can enter all that information. Once I feel good about it, I can hit save. Goes back into live mode, and now I'm ready to move to my next location. So that is the user interface for the MetQ mode on the uh, Fluke i910. Thank <laughs> you.